The Wolvesley Teaching Programme is made up of a series of lessons that, through what we know to be effective pedagogy, underpins the New Zealand curriculum. Students learn to work in effective cooperative and competitive groups. We piloted the Wolvesley Programme with a Year 12 accounting class in Christchurch and linked current assessment standards to the process. It's easy to see how a programme like Wolvesley fits into a business studies type context, but in fact, the resource has been written to integrate with all learning areas. We are not only asking students to be innovative in the process, we need teachers and schools to work innovatively too. There are a variety of assessment options associated with the Wolvesley program. These can be found in the teacher resource section of our website. Students generate an idea, explore that idea, create a supporting business plan and then pitch their idea to a panel. They go through this Wolvesley process two or three times during the course of the teaching program. Firstly, groups work together to, des to design an innovative children's toy. We suggest this first pitch is to a low-stakes in-school Wolves Lear panel, made up of various leadership team members and staff from other learning areas. This helps to inform the staff of the Wolves Lear program and spark interest and understanding as to how this might be used in an enterprising context within the school. Students reflect on this first Wolvesley round and use this reflection to identify their strengths and weaknesses to then be used and improved for the next round. For the second Wolvesley round, we encourage the use of a real client or issue for the students to work with. This adds another level of authenticity to the program. Students from this school were challenged to find a real client with a real issue. And they found Louise, an author who needed a display stand designed to fit her specific needs. Louise outlined the brief, the students worked on a solution, and then pitched their ideas to her. Just simply because it was so well presented, it kind of sold me to start with, and it might not be ideally what I was looking for, but I could certainly see how this product could be sold and has potential in the market. For the final Wolvesley round, students were given an opportunity to pick their own groups and their own issue and work towards preparing a business plan and pitch to an in-school panel. They then also were able to apply to an external Wolvesley panel made up of real investors and banking representatives. Eight applications are chosen biannually in Christchurch to pitch to this panel. Partners of the project provided professional, legal and business advice to all successful applicants. Students were able to use this feedback to strengthen their final pitch to the panel of Wolves. Although there were no Wolves Lear panel members who invested money into the ideas that were pitched, they did provide valuable advice, feedback and relevant contacts for each student group. Now it is now up to the students to show their enterprising attributes and take their idea further if they want to. This is what's been happening in Christchurch. Other regions around the country are also getting involved and adapting the programme to meet their specific needs. Click on to upcoming events on the website for more detail.